Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will take you behind the scenes and show you how I make these swirl photos. It's really fun, I really like them. So this is how I make all of my uh, coffee swirl photos and any kind of swirls. So I recently bought some blue spirulina and um, I really wanted to try this out because it would look so beautiful with like the blue drink and some white swirls. Um, so yeah. That's uh, what I will show you today. So um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit that red button, subscribe. I will make more videos like this and I will have travel vlogs. Make sure to check out my other videos. Hit the like button if you like this video and let's get started. Okay, so I usually use a table. I only place my props on the ground when doing a flat lay. As a background, I used tiles this time. Then I get my props and started to arrange them. I usually have an idea in mind how I want the scene to look like, but sometimes I just play around with the props and see what looks best. I have this blue spirulina powder from Organic Labs. I added like half a teaspoon to each glass and I left some in the spoon as well. Oh, I love this little plant. It's so cute and makes every background look so nice, so I had to include it. Even for a pop of color, I check several times to see if everything looks good from the camera angle. I filled up the glasses with tea and I added some more powder to this glass because it had a lighter blue color and I obviously want both to look the same. I sprinkled some blue spirulina powder near the spoon to make it more interesting and have some more texture. Okay, time to set the tripod and camera. The next thing I do is to connect the camera to the phone via the Canon Camera Connect app. You just have to turn on the Wi-Fi on your camera, select your phone, then on your phone connect to the camera in the Wi-Fi section, open the app and choose Remote Live View. But then I disconnected it because I wanted to be able to see better how the camera sees the scene, if it makes sense, and position it so everything is in frame. Then I connected my phone to the camera again. So here are the settings I used. I changed to continuous shooting mode, 1 400th of a second, f3.5, ISO 250. Prepping the milk and pouring while holding the shutter button. Then I usually check to see if I got some cool shots. And I did! Then I did the same to the other glass. After I was done shooting the swirls, I took the camera off the tripod and took some regular shots. And the best part of photographing food and drinks is that you always have a treat after the work is done. So good! Last minute I decided to try a flat lay as well. I changed the lens to 50mm so it's not that zoomed in, grabbed the chair and thank god for flip screen. It's so handy when shooting from above. Here's how they turned out. All that's left was to clean the table and bring the props inside again. Hope you like this kind of video, make sure to give it a like, comment, share it and I will see you very soon. Take care, bye!